What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Vladen. So the random question of the day is, do you guys use pod systems? Is it something that you carry around all the time, or is it just something you are not interested in whatsoever? Let me know in the comments box below. Personally, I've got one on me pretty much all the time, whether it be my Jewel, my Miley, my, you know, Soren Air, or something like that. You know, it's always just kind of hanging out in my pocket, and just in case I want to use it for the times when I don't feel like blowing big clouds, especially when I'm in the car, those are my kind of go-to setups for driving around, but that's just me. I want to hear from you guys. Just leave a comment right down there in the box below. So the device we're going to be taking a look at today is the Valadin Pod System. Now, this one was kindly given to me by a company called Avenue 40 with a big shout out and thank you going their way for allowing me to take a look at this device for the purpose of making this video. And one thing I got to say about this thing is it's got these style points for days. This is definitely one of the most stylish pod systems that I own and it's got the most unique shape as well. So taking a look at Avenue 40's website, this thing comes in two different versions. You have your 18 milligram TPD compliant version and a 50 milligram standard version as well. So this thing is going to run you about $37 online. So make sure you check out the link I've got right down there in the description below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got the Vladen in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging and then we'll take a look at what's inside. So first and foremost, very nice, simple, classy packaging with this one here. No complaints whatsoever. We have some spot gloss going around the logo, which is a silver emboss. Hopefully you guys can see the shiny shininess there. We have a picture of the device, some basic features and what's in the box. On this side here, we have what's in the box and some warnings. And on this side here, we have what's in the box once again. Um, on the back, we have some basic features features. We have what's in the box once again, <laughs> and we have the ingredients of the liquid. We have a big old warning there and some company information, UPC, that kind of thing. So let's take a look inside. And yeah, that's, that's pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. Well, look at that. We have a little it's a fold out, but you you really can't mark points off for that. It's just one single fold, so not a big deal. A um, little bit graphic, a little bit text, eh, no complaints. It's all right. It's a little quick start guide. Uh, we have the Vladen battery itself. So there you go. Of course, you get one of those. We have a USB cable. And this is one of those nice kind of... Uh, kind of fabric-y, plastic -y sort of feeling outside ones with the metal uh, little connections there. So not so bad there. And you get a single pod. This is the tobacco pod. Comes with this little cover. Boom, just like that. And that's all you get in the box. All right, guys, let's talk about the specs. The battery output voltage is 3.5 volts. The charging current is 0.2 amps to 0.4 amps. The battery capacity is 350 milliamps. And the maximum output wattage is 12 watts. The resistance on the pods is between 1.2 and 1.5 ohms. And the capacity of the pods is 1.5 milliliters. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Valadin itself, starting off with the pod. So here we have the actual pod itself. And as you can see, it's kind of got that interesting little curve going on, that subtle curve up here at the top, which doesn't really make a huge difference. You really can't tell while vaping on it. You have the mouthpiece right up there, and that provides you with a nice tight draw. I'm a big fan of the draw on this one. Very nice as for my style of vaping. And you have your clear acrylic sort of body section for the pod, which uh, it's kind of a rigid plastic. You can't really squeeze on it too much, uh, but you can really easily see your juice level, which is nice. Then you can have your uh, little coil right down there at the bottom, your ceramic coil head, and you have the base piece, which I imagine this would be pretty difficult to hack because you'd have to take out those little clips and slide out that coil piece. So I'm not sure if it's a hackable pod or not. I haven't tried, but I'm sure someone out there has. And on the base piece here, we have the airflow hole going right through the middle. You can kind of see the whole shape of this thing going on. And you have the big contact pins, which appear to be gold plated. I'm not sure if those are actually gold plated or not, but they definitely look like they are. Then we have the Valadin battery itself. It has a single light right there, which indicates charging and when it's in use. A little Vladin logo right down there at the bottom, which is kind of nice, very subtle and simple. Uh, it's kind of that off gray metallic gunmetal sort of color. 
Uh, you can see right there at the bottom, we have the kind of interesting shape going on. It kind of looks like the hurricane symbol, if you ask me, but hey, maybe that's just me. <laughs> Anyways, micro USB charging port, which is great, definitely uh, better than some of the other ones with those little proprietary chargers. Um, and it's a little angle here. As you can see, it's got an angle going on right there, which means you can only fit the pod in one way. It fits the other way, but it doesn't lock into place and it doesn't work because it doesn't match up with the angle there. So you have to put it in in this direction, otherwise you're out of luck. So that's kind of unfortunate. I do like the reversible pods, but uh, hey, maybe that's just me. And uh, yeah, it's magnetic. It locks in there pretty nice and sturdy. Really no complaints. It doesn't wiggle or wobble or anything like that. It feels like it's rock solid and it's not gonna come out of there anytime soon. And that's pretty much it. So that was the close-up section for the Vladen pod system. Let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, and my first pro is how long the pods last. Now, a typical pod for the Valadin system will last me at least twice as long as my Juul, and that's because the capacity is one and a half milliliters. So with that, I usually get about two to three days off of a Juul pod. With this one here, it practically lasts me an entire week, which is just great. Obviously, I'm not using this thing all day, every day, but for how I use these pod systems, that's actually really good. My second pro for this device is it uses a pretty standard charging cable. Instead of using a proprietary system like so many other pod systems out there, you can use just any old micro USB cable you have lying around. And if you guys know me and if you've seen some of my videos before, you know that I have a pretty significant collection. And my third pro for this one is that I've never gotten a single dry hit from it, not even once. Even if the pod is on its last legs and just has a little tiny bit of juice left, I still have not gotten a single dry hit from it. And that's because they're using a ceramic coil system. Now, typically when I've used ceramic coil systems in sub-ohm tanks, I'm really not a big fan, but with this one here, it just works. And my fourth and final pro for this Valadin pod system is the contacts on the pods themselves are huge. That makes a great contact surface area for the pod to actually sit on the battery, and I get less errors. Now, typically with other pod systems, you'll have to take the pod out from time to time and wipe it off or wipe the contacts out a little bit. With this one here, I've never had an issue where the pod doesn't register on the battery. I've never had a misfire, and for me, that is such a good thing because because that happens so often with other pod systems. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons, my first con is how long this thing takes to charge. Usually about an hour to two hours to fully charge this thing from being fully dead. So yeah, unlike some of the other pod systems that only take about 45 minutes or so to charge, this thing does take quite some time. And my second con is the flavor that's in the pod that comes in the box is kind of so-so. Honestly, it's really not my favorite. It's a tobacco flavor, and I'm not too crazy about it if I'm being perfectly honest. It's kind of a really sweet tobacco and it's got like kind of notes of honey to it. It's not terrible, but it's not really that great and it really hasn't won me over. Just thinking about this from a smoker's point of view, they might think it's a little bit too sweet. And so far I haven't been able to track down any replacement pods for this thing. And my third and final con for this device, like you guys saw in the close-ups, the pod can only go in one direction. You can't just flip it around and install it the other direction. It has to go in a very specific way. And that can get annoying if you're taking your pod out all the time for any particular reason. You go to install it, it's the wrong way around. You have to take it out and then flip it around and then do the whole thing over again. So it can get a little bit annoying, but then again, you're not gonna be taking the pot out all the time. So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for a review? I'm gonna say no to this one only because honestly, it doesn't really stand out from the crowd. It has a couple of features that I really do like about it, but it just kind of blends in with the rest of the pod systems that are out there on the market. And I can't find any other flavors for it. All I can find are these tobacco pods and I'm not a big fan. So for me, it's just not really quite doing it. But if you guys wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link right down there in the description below.
So that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I upload videos. Also, leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Vlad and Pod system or anything else you guys want to discuss down there. Also, make sure you check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the box below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, guys. I've got a Twitter. You can follow me on there. So make sure you go check that out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, vape on.